<laughs> we present you a young patient, 42 years old, with uh, pain in the retro rectum, and I would be pleased if Dr. Pottak would show you the MRI pictures first, and then Professor Schlumpf, I hope he is upstairs, will tell us what he has done, and we see the post -surger, surgery pictures. Oh. And then we are back with the detailed pictures doing live endosonography. Okay, we performed an MRI. You see there, this is a sagittal pro projection. You see the bladder here, this is the rectum. And then you see a thickening here. And if we scroll through that region, you see here there's an er elevated signal. Um, and if you look closer, there's something like a tumor. You see there's um, aspects in it with uh, uh, cystic aspects. Uh, also, when you look at the transverse image, you see there um, cystics, re retrorectal aspects here, a thickening. It's also a thickening. It's not clear if it's in the rectum or it's in the levator ani. You see here, the, the closer we go to the tip of the coccygeal um, bone, you see there's more and more cystic mass. Um, so we also did perform a CT um, and you see it's the same, we have here the tip of the coccygeal bone and this thickening with the levator ani and it's in continuation with the anal canal. So this finding was in 2014 and uh, we uh, thought that this is a tail gut cyst which might be transformed to malignancy. So we decided to do a total mesorectal uh, resection. So this was done transanally, 3D assisted and laparoscopically assisted to the technique uh, according to Lassi from Barcelona. And we did the complete resection of the rectum and mesorectum. And uh, you will show the later course. MRI please. So we did some MRs or one MR in between, and this is the latest MR that we have. I just show you the transversal images uh, where you can easily see that although the operation was done, there's still some thickening. You see here, this is the loop of the levator ani. Uh, this is the anal canal, and still there is some fluid there. Again, this is the top of the coccyg, coccygeal bone there, a thickening, some fluid. So, um, yeah, this, uh, this is the, the, the start moment for the uh, endosonography. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next slide, please. Just for the one that don't know so much about tail gut cyst, the next slide I have here. Yes, next slide. What the tail gut cyst is, is its rare development lesion, most likely uh, retrorectal hematoma, surgery is recommended. There's a risk of malignancy. malignancy. Next slide, please. And the literature you won't find much. There is one series, 2012, with 56 patients, and most of them were uh, schwannom or, t uh, or actually tail gut cysts in its classical uh, type. Now, the problem with this poor lady is that she has uh, lots of pain, and we can show you now the live pictures, and perhaps we find out why uh, this patient has uh, pain, what we have to do, and you will see the pictures, the quality compared to MRI. I can promise you, uh, you will see here the difference. Okay, uh, can you see the image, please? Yes, so the yes, image yes, on the skin. Yes, we have uh, yeah. the image. We can see, we can see he already here the uh, two cystic lesion, two lesion. One is this one, okay, it's small. And the other one is the second, it is bigger. Now look at the echogenicity of the two lesion. One is anechoic, that means this is a fluid collection, this is a, a real cyst. But the, the, the bigger one, you see is not uh, uh, anechoic, this is a mixed echogenicity. That means that there is no fluid inside this, and uh, we don't know, this can be a, a mass, this can be uh, maybe an organized hematoma, but it's not fluid collection, that is uh, sure. Now, let's work on this. We can even enlarge the image. 
Okay, can you see better now? Yes. yes. Can you see the difference between uh, one and the other one? You see the echogenicity. This is a really fluid. This is not fluid. Uh, anyway, this is quite regular. There is no sign of uh, infiltration or invasion of the tissue at the border of the cyst. We can even measure the cyst because uh, one uh, cyst is, uh, let's see, is almost uh, uh, 1.2, so more than one centimeter. It's not too big. The other one is quite smaller. Or we can consider this uh, just one cyst with the septum inside. Okay? So this is uh, an interpretation. We cannot be sure regarding this one. Uh, we even check the, the vascularity because with this uh, machine we, and with this probe we can. And look, we cannot see the, 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 um, a, a, any kind of vascularization of this lesion. Can you see here? Yes, yes, okay. it's nicely. Okay, uh, we even did the, the 3D reconstruction. I hold your hand. And this is the 3D reconstruction. We did it just before, it takes one minute usually. Okay, so as I showed you today, we can uh, see the internal and the external sphincter, like two rings. You see the internal is uh, hyperechoic, this one. The external is uh, hyperechoic. Now, if we can go uh, up, We go up, we see the puborectalis muscle, this U-shaped hyperechoic structure. You see the, the uh, puborectalis muscle. There is no lesion at this level. And we go up, you see the puborectalis much well defined. Okay, stop. This is uh, our first cystic lesion, you see? And this is really fluid collection, anechoic, regular border, is a simple cyst. And then we go higher up and look at the second lesion here. This is the second lesion. Okay. Let's go up and then there is nothing more. Now, because we did the 3D, we can even manipulate our uh, 3D volume in a very nice way. So I am working on the uh, axial plane, but I can rotate the image on the coronal plane. And even I can go on the other sagittal plane. So this is just uh, a demonstration how you see the image with this kind of uh, uh, procedure, I think are uh, really of a high quality, high resolution. And uh, we can uh, uh, again define that there are two lesions. One is a cystic lesion. The second one is a, a, a um, solid lesion at the level of the puborectalis muscle between the six and eight o'clock position. That's it, that's all. Many thanks. Now uh, we have to have the opinion of the surgeon. I believe that the cystic lesion, I'm not so much concerned, but about the non-cystic lesion, I believe something has to be done. The little problem we have, we believe that the pain comes from a lower level, the, uh, from a higher level than the cyst is. So we could discuss, but probably we don't have the time this afternoon, but for Professor Schlumpf, it's now probably very good to have so, uh, seen this in details, and we can discuss that later. I don't want very to good. Just, up. Just one question. question, can't you make a biopsy? We, but it's a very good question. We did the fine needle uh, puncture. Uh, actually, we couldn't get some material. You should not do a biopsy from inside, because if you know literature, you can go 
Uh, yeah, they Malaysia. say it's, it's better don't don't do biopsy and, and to remove the cysts yes. if you can. Yeah. And what we do, did, and it's very easy if you know how to do ultrasound and fine needle from the outside, then the infection rate is uh, as low as possible. And we did that, but unfortunately, the material didn't uh, give us any more information. Okay, this is an information for for uh, for professor. Now look this. This is the wall length of the anal canal. You see the internal sphincter here. Okay. So this is the external sphincter, and then uh, the puberetal is coming here. So my maybe uh, idea or my advice for you is that maybe you can go through the intersphincteric plane. So if you go to, through the intersphincteric plane, this plane, you can you can reach the the, the um, uh, you can reach uh, the, the the cyst. And uh, so you, you, you avoid to go from inside, and you just go to the intersphincteric plane, and just at the level of the pubertalis, you will find your cyst. Okay, many thanks. There are there many questions, hopefully, because Professor Santoro will soon give his lectures? So I think this is a very interesting case. So uh, I think for the surgeon side, it's uh, quite challenging, because you did the TAT transanal TMD already, so the plane is uh, remaining, but if you dissect through the interspinteric plane, you may be able to uh, tr uh, reach that lesion, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. A Thank very you. nice case demonstration. Thank you. Yes.